Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on periactin. So periactin contains the active ingredient ciproheptidine, which is an antihistamine used to relieve the symptoms of allergic reactions. So periactin is used in cases of allergic reactions such as hay fever, pet allergies and more serious allergic reaction called angiourotic oedema. It's also used in chickenpox as well as migraine and other similar types of headache. So periactin works by preventing the actions of histamine, which is a hormone in the body that is released in response to certain allergens, such as pollen. Histamine is involved in producing inflammation and allergic responses when released. The dose of periactin use varies depending on the condition and age of the individual. So please see the information guide include with your medicine or ask the doctor or pharmacist for more advice and make sure not to exceed the recommended dosage the tablets can be taken either with or without food if symptoms persist despite treatment seek medical advice from your doctor or pharmacist the use of periactin is not recommended in pregnant or nursing women as antihistamines may affect the baby again consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information if you're pregnant or breastfeeding Take caution when driving or operating heavy machinery while taking periactin. It's likely to cause dizziness and drowsiness, thus impairing your ability to carry out certain tasks. It is recommended to abstain from driving and operating heavy machinery until you know how this medicine affects you. You shouldn't drink alcohol while taking periactin, as it is likely to make you drowsy and dizzy to make them worse. So make sure to tell your doctor or pharmacist about any other medication you're taking as some medicines may produce undesirable effects when mixed with periactin, such as increased drowsiness. And some of these medicines are antidepressants and antipsychotic medicines. So you should not use other antihistamines in combination with periactin. And some cold and flu medicines also contain antihistamines. So always check with your pharmacist before taking any medicine in combination with periactin. So some of the main side effects of periactin include drowsiness, dizziness, headache and blurred vision. For more and a detailed list on side effects, go to my website lynchespharmacy.com. Remember that all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you will experience them. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.